Welcome to Nated Engineering. Today we are doing the second exercise based on our previous lesson which was Dynamics, Engineering Science and 4. The exercise that we are doing is an exercise I have taken from a question paper that was written on 21 November 2019. It's question number 5 and it reads as follows. A vehicle with a mass of 980 kg accelerates uniformly up a slope of 1 is 245 from 6 meters per second to 21 meters per second within 35 seconds. The resistance to motion is 0 0.459 newtons per kg of the vehicle. And then the questions. They say, calculate the acceleration of the vehicle. Question number two, they say, Calculate the acceleration force of the vehicle. The third question, calculate the total force. And this is the information that we are given. We are given the mass of the vehicle. We are given its initial and final velocity. We are also given the time it took for the vehicle to get from the initial velocity to the final velocity. We are given the frictional, the frictional force and we are given the slope which is 1 is to 45 and they say question number one calculate the acceleration acceleration of the vehicle so using the information that we have we have to choose a formula to use and the formula that I have used is V as a cost to initial plus 80 we are looking for this so we make it the subject of the formula which will give us v minus u divided by t our v is 6 is 21 meters per second and our u is 6 meters per second divided by 35 which is our time and we got an acceleration of 0 0.429 meters per second and then question number two, 5.2. They say calculate the accelerating force of the vehicle. Fa is equals to ma, which will be the mass 980 and the acceleration 0 0.429. And this will give us 420.42 newtons. This is our accelerating force. So this is the formula for F net. F net MA is the one that we used here. Remember we said F net is the sum of all the forces that are, act, uh, that, that are applied, that are acting on an object. Let's take a scenario where we have an object that gets from point A to point B of mass M. We are told that the object is traveling at a constant at a constant speed of six meter six meters per second. That's the speed at which it is traveling. And then we are asked to calculate the net force. We know net force is equal to m a. We know that if an object is traveling at constant velocity, mean that means our acceleration is will be zero meters per second squared because we know that the acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity but if the velocity is not changing me that means that the acceleration is zero therefore here we will have whatever mass that we will be dealing with times zero which will give us a net force of zero newtons this tells us that net force is equals to the acceleration force meaning that if our object is accelerating from zero let's say to five meters per second f net become an acceleration force if now our object is getting from five meters per second to zero our f net become a breaking force so f net if they say calculate the acceleration force this is the formula that i'm going to use even if they say use the uh, calculate the breaking force still is the formula for f net 
and then we go to the third question which says calculate the total force the total force that they want is the total force that is applied to the vehicles f a f applied now to get the force that is applied that is supposed to be applied to the object or to the vehicle for us to have this acceleration we have to add all the forces that are acting in that direction in the opposite direction to the applied force first we know that we will have fg which is m g cos theta and then you are going to have the frictional force which we are given and because we are having acceleration we will also have f a which is also in that direction so to get our total force we will say the total force f total it's equals to fg plus f uh, fg plus fa plus the frictional force do we have the do we have fg we don't so we must calculate fg it's equals to mg cos sin theta mg sin theta our mass is 980 9.8 which is our gravitational acceleration sin our theta do we have theta we do not have theta but we are told that the slope that we are the slope that the, the vehicle is traveling it's a slope of 1 is to 45 meaning that using these two values we can get our our theta we have the opposite and the height we are going to use from our trip ratios we are going to use sine which is sine it's equals to the opposite which is 1 sine theta divided by 45 which will give us as theta s 1.273 degree degrees and then this we are going to put here 1.273 and we will get fg as Twenty one two one three point three six five newtons. We have this now. We need this. We do have we calculated now. We want the frictional force. Frictional force we know it is zero point four five nine newtons per kg of the vehicle. So we must times with the mass of the vehicle which is 980 which will give us a frictional force of 449.82 newtons so to get the total force we will say total force f total it's equals to the gravitational acceleration the gravitational force which is 213.365 plus our acceleration force which is 42 420.42 plus our frictional force which is 449.82 and this will give us 1083.605 newtons and that is our total force this is the force that we are supposed to apply to the vehicle to be able to move from 6 meters per second to 21 meters per second in 30 seconds and that is basically the end of our question and it's basically the end of our lesson i will see you on the next lesson